Sydney's a, a big catchment and a big rugby area, and we've got to make sure we we perform at a level that we can we can provide hope and incentive and uh, and get people following our game. A real focus for us at the moment is reaching our potential as a team. Our consistency is a word that has been thrown around a lot here. For us, I guess, it's just about earning the respect and the following of our public. We're really looking forward to you know going deep into the finals and, and potentially winning the Super Rugby. You know, we know we have a good team from 1 to 23, and if we can, like I said, reach our potential, I'm sure we can go deep into the finals. It feels a little bit like it's now or never in some respects for the Waratahs, Morgs. They have featured in finals the last couple of seasons, but there's there's a challenge in front of them to, to really prove themselves. Yeah, you look at the squad list, the list is good. They've got good quality players with international experience. Angus Bell's going to be there. You think Harry Johnson Holmes plays more footy this year. So that really hurt them up front last year. Um, this is, you know, Darren Coleman's third year. He's a fine head coach, an excellent rugby man. But this is the squad that he's built. He's got what he's wanted now. He's had time to build it. This is the push year for the Tars. Eighth isn't good enough. It's, it's looking for top four or five, which you know, if you want to go deep, you've got to be up in that top four or five anyway so uh, I'm expecting a lot from the Tars forget about trial form they'll have held a lot back they just simply have to perform and they have to start fast because they do have the tough draw Cru somehow they've got the Crusaders twice this year they've got Fiji in Fiji they got the Brumbies twice they had the easier draw last year it's a tougher draw this it year might, for the Tars. It might bring the best out of them though. Well, I don't understand how you play <laughs> Kiwi teams twice I didn't think we did that anyway. Well, I mean if you do want to prove yourself and there's that old saying you want to be the best you got to beat the best so you well, may a, as well embrace that challenge. It's a great opportunity to be ready you know, like if Crusaders are the benchmark, if they get them twice and, and they manage to get one out of two or two out of two, then, you know, it gives them a lot of confidence. I liken them to a little bit, a few of the blue sides I was in. You, you read the squad list and you wonder how they aren't at the pointy end of, of, uh, of the table. So I think a, a big opportunity for Jake Gordon and his leadership group. They, their leaders have to play well, um, get the platform. We know they've got the talent. It's um, the big thing is just executing on under pressure and not... I think where they've gone wrong, especially last year, is they, they lost those early rounds yeah. and then they were chasing their tail the whole, the yeah. whole yeah. competition. Yeah. Interestingly, this time last year they were talking a big game and then they started, as you say, they faltered to begin with. They've sort of tempered those you know, <laughs> expectations, at least externally. But, hey, it, it, there's no better opportunity to start your season than a derby, New South Wales versus Queensland. Then You're probably not really up for it. So I reckon New South Wales will be up for it this weekend.